So today we're going to talk about Visibility IQ and what that is and how that works as far as from a data services perspective and go into some details as to what you can do with it. Visibility IQ Foresight is a set of dashboards that Zebra has had available to our customers and partners for a number of years now, um, primarily focused in on the mobile computers. So showing everything from uh, application information, what's running on that device to battery, its memory, any number of different components uh, of information from the device. All of that data, and once you're under that contract, it gets fed up into uh, our, our data lake and we store it up there and then we do analytics on it and we show it to you in a dashboard. Um, there's a number of these dashboards available for our different customers and they are customizable through the service contracts that you'd be getting. Um, if any of you are familiar with Visibility IQ Foresight or our Visibility IQ products, um, these should be quite familiar to you as far as how you've using, been using them. Um, but we are well aware that not everyone is uh, aware of these, these dashboards and what they can do. Um, as well as the fact that we're coming out with something brand new now to take the data that is underlying these dashboards and actually make that data available to our, our partners and customers as data service APIs um, so that you can access that data that is being pulled up into our cloud um, and be able to integrate it into your own dashboards and cut the data in different ways as you want to. Um, and do the analytics off of it if you want if you want to do that, um, or use our analytics APIs to um, integrate it into your systems, uh, as well as doing productivity workflows um, with that data as well. So lots of different things that you can do here. Um, a couple of different dashboards for showing things like smart battery health and uh, application uh, availability on the systems that are part of these dashboards. I'm not going to go into that. Um, that's something that you can talk to your partner or your uh, Zebra account manager to get uh, access to this information and talk to them about what that would actually mean for your business. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more into actually what that means from a data services perspective. Um, you will still need to uh, talk with your Zebra account manager or your um, purchasing partner in order to access these APIs, but I uh, wanted to go into what that would actually mean, what kind of data you'd be able to find if you were to go in there. So on the um, developer portal, we do have a page that has information as far as what the Visibility IQ APIs are. Um, show some different information on there. You do have to be using a Zebra mobile computer uh, with, with certain versions of Android in order to access this. Um, but once you have that in there, you can enroll it uh, fairly simply through our, serv through our um, account services and we'll be able to get you uh, set up and getting access to the data that is being pushed up into our service. So there are a number of APIs that are even now currently available. Um, we separated them into two separate groups. One of them is called the Visibility IQ Analytics section. Um, and the other one is the Visibility IQ Aggregation section. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the aggregation section first. These are your more raw uh, data services. So this is accessing the raw data coming out of the devices. So things like device information tells you things like the model, the serial number of any individual device. Um, and you can use them to also get information aggregated around your fleet of devices. So how many you know devices do you have that are running um, a specific SDK version or a specific model? Um, things like some of the application APIs like application usage and application not responding tell you information about um, the applications that are running on your devices, um, as well as what you know how what their current state is, and if any of the applications might be causing crashes or hang events within the applications. Um, and then we have other APIs available in here that are for the battery events for things like if you put it on the charging cradle, take it off the charging cradle um, and uh, are doing different things with it. Those are battery events that, um, you know, pulling out the battery uh, are battery events that are logged and, and tracked through the system. Um, and then the status tells you things like what the current <laughs> levels are, voltage, capacity, et cetera, that kind of thing. We do go into these 
uh, APIs in a lot more detail in a set of videos that we came out with uh, a little while back um, under the name of Device Health. Uh, that was an old name for it, um, but now it's all under the Visibility IQ uh, data set, and so you can access it through the Visibility IQ product. Um, like I said, these, these APIs are a little bit more raw and um, you can potentially purchase the uh, aggregation package by itself if you just want access to the more raw data uh, underlying some of the different um, analytics and systems that we have uh, for Visibility IQ. But this is your, your first level of access to that data. Um, then you can go up a notch and get access to the analytics APIs. Um, I kind of separate that, these out into two separate groups. One of them are more the analytics based on the devices. Um, so taking all of that information that we had in the aggregation and raw data for say applications and pulling that up and merging it together to figure out um, what actually is going on with individual applications and how you can use them. So things like the application analytics API um, allows you to uh, get usage for specific applications running on the device, um, how, how long it's been running, how much it's been running, and different um, information around what that's actually doing on the device. Um, so that's for the application analytics. Um, things like the out-of-contact devices um, tells you, basically gives you a list of, of what devices are, have not been actually communicating with the system. Uh, so you can understand maybe if there's some of them that have uh, gone out of service, shrinkage, any number of different things going on there. Um, but that gives you that um, holistic view of what's not been connecting in and working with, uh, with the system. Um, and things like smart, smart Battery Health, which is an analytics service that tells you um, how long you likely will have until the battery will fail uh, so that you can put into systems to reorder batteries and, and replace them as needed. Uh, the other APIs that are available in this analytics package are more around um, case management. So understanding things like um, when you're working with a uh, zebra technical support, what state those support cases are in, um, and getting a lot of information around uh, the his history of those support cases and, and what um, you know what state they're in, um, so you can actually get a histogram to see what uh, what state different you know past cases were in, uh, and get information around that as well as seeing things like just what your open cases are and what their current states are in uh, for those open cases. So that gives you some more around what's happening with the um, with your interactions with Zebra uh, from that standpoint. We also have some APIs around the repair lifecycle. So if you send in um, products for repair, this will tell you what state it's in, where it's in in the process, when it's been re uh, replaced, and if there's anything from the spare pool that's been sent to you to uh, cover it while you're, you're out of that uh, repair service um, system. So that gives you the full life cycle of that repair. Um, and then the device entitlement is something that um, allows you to essentially query what the um, which devices you have currently under contract with us for support. Um, so this gives you the ability to understand what uh, what your current pool of devices is that you have um, the ability to call in a repair or order for or call in a support case for um, and manage all of that information around what you what you have under contract. Um, it understood these APIs all have the concept that um, you as a partner or you as a customer, end user customer um, may have access to the same data or might have different access to that same data. Um, so it does, the, all of these APIs have uh, information or have questions around what the actual end user customer is and who the partner is who's actually trying to query this information um, in order to make it so that we can better serve and better protect the information for our customers and our partners. Um, so, those are the analytics APIs that we have available. Um, they are uh, available through a contract with Zebra in order to access information. Um, it is 
You don't have to have a Visibility IQ Foresight contract in order to access these. Although if you do, I think there's some, you know, <laughs> some conversations you can have around getting access to the data as well. Um, it's a separate contract for being able to get access to this, this information. But if you notice, a lot of the APIs that we have available directly relate to the um, dashboards in Visibility IQ Foresight um, that you know, basically are showing the exact same data that you're seeing in that dashboard but are pulling it into an API so that you can potentially integrate it into your own dashboards. So that is the primary information that I have for uh, this session and talk. I know it was fairly quick to go through. Uh, I wanted to check and see if there were any questions. Robin, I'm not seeing any questions um, up there right now. So everybody, if you want to pop into the Q&A and ask Robin any questions, she's available. I also want to note that she just did a whole series. They're really nice on uh, dev bytes um, on several pieces uh, with Zebra Data Services. They're over on our YouTube playlist. So, um, and also posted a blog on the developer portal. So I encourage you to go there as well. Um, just yeah. little short snippets of information that I think are really valuable. Yeah, three of the dev bytes were on the aggregation APIs. So mm -hmm. I se separated these out into uh, three separate short uh, talks. One's about the device in device APIs, so device disruption, device information, device utilization. Um, and the uh, one of them was on the applications, so application responding, application usage, and installed applications. And then the other one was on batteries, so the battery APIs. Um, so those are the three. Um, videos for the aggregation APIs. And then I have three separate videos for the Cloud Connect for RFID information that Ben was going over earlier today as well. Um, so going, you know, through some of those those demos and different pieces of components in a little bit more in a little detail in certain areas. And he went into a little more detail on other areas during this his session. Um, yep. But uh, those we are the videos a... that were posted up there. Sorry, Robin, we do have a question from Phil. Okay. What is the minimal enrollment developers need to investigate these APIs? What is the minute, like the min, minimum number of devices that they have to enroll? I believe so, yes. Um, I do not know that exact number. Um, that would be something to speak with uh, the account team. If you need to, if you're a part of Zebra in account team, um, then I would recommend reaching out to Dan Q on that. Uh, who spoke earlier today. Oh, he said, sorry, not devices. What do I need to get started? Okay. <laughs> so <let's use> <laughs> uh, talk oh, to your okay. Zebra account team. If you don't have an account team, talk to the purchasing partner. So whoever you're purchasing your, your devices from, talk to them about getting access to Visibility IQ. Um, and uh, they should know how to reach out to us to be able to uh, provide that access. You can always reach out to us on developer at zebra.com, our email, and we'll forward that on to the right folks. 